Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys this super cute little um, Christmas tree mini album. Uh, this is from Chaos Craft. This is from the um, August release. So the August release was all about Christmas. And I have a video going through um, all of the dies uh, from that release. I um, am just now getting started on the Christmas crafting. I've been trying to do Halloween and Christmas at the same time. So uh, just kind of going back and forth. But um, so hopefully I'm not confusing all of you, but I do want to get these um, videos out and pictures and stuff on my Instagram so that uh, if you guys want to purchase anything, you have plenty of time to purchase it before you start your crafting, uh, you know, for the upcoming holidays. So um, anyway, uh, you can find, of course, AliExpress on Amazon and on, uh, I mean, AliExpress. You can find Chaos Craft Dyes on AliExpress and Amazon, um, as you know. And I'll show you really quickly. Um, so before we get into the project, this is what the mini album, the, it's called a Christmas tree mini album. This is what it looks like. And, um, it's really cool because you can just use this as your mini album pages and you can do, you know, like a regular kind of tag flip or mini album and have all of your pages, uh, be this size. Um, what I decided to do, I actually copied Hannah, um, at Chaos Crab Hannah. She, um, had this wonderful idea of, cutting this out um, so your base piece will be this and then you cut another one out just kind of like right here and then um, cut to there and just kind of and so on so it's like kind of a waterfall effect um, so I did copy her that was 100% her idea and then um, these border dies here I use this one here and this one here and I just put that on the back of each layer to kind of just give some extra like uh, depth and detail to the to the album. And then um, the other piece that comes in the set is this um, little star. So that allows you to create the star there. Um, so that's that. And then um, I'll probably show you the other things as I go along. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll show you this real quick. So these little like garlands, that is from a set called Christmas Garlands. So it looks like this and it allows you to do three different styles of garland and then it has these little layering pieces that you can add here and these uh, this and this allow you to kind of layer these hearts so they look like peppermints. Um, what I did on mine is I actually on this one here I cut it out twice once in craft cardstock and once in like a glitter cardstock and kind of offset it so it looked like little um, gingerbread men like sugar cookies. Uh, did that and then on the tree I did it in silver glitter and popped that up on foam. Oh, and I popped this up on foam as well. And then same with this, I cut it out in craft first and then foam and glued that on. And then I added um, the little um, hearts and peppermints. And then I actually used some Nuvo drops for the little buttons and just a little white uh, paint pen and a black pen to kind of add the little faces to the... Um, to the gingerbread and then um, these little stockings here I'm just trying to show you these kind of as I go or you know out before I get started because you guys are going to want to know where everything came from so this set here um, there's these stockings and there's like the little um, uh, fur part that goes on the little um, Christmas stockings so that's what I did here and again pop those up on foam so I always cut it out in foam and then I cut it out in the pattern cardstock and that just gives it a lot of like depth and dimension. So I did that and then uh, what else have I used that you can see so far? Okay, that might be it so far. Oh, and then these little candies are, whoops, I forgot to show you those. So um, that's these little candies right here. And then, um, oh, these little gingerbread men so you'll see some of those in there, but that's this little guy um, right here. So it cuts out actually four different styles. I didn't even realize they were different until I cut them out. Um, so that's, you know, just how I did like different embellishments and stuff. So, um, all right, let's get started. This, um, let me show you the charm first. So because um, all, all the little um, decorations on the tree kind of look like sugar cookies or, you know, like gingerbread cookies, I wanted to do a little like a uh, piping bag like a little frosting piping bag another little um sugar cookie christmas tree a little measuring cup and then like a little peppermint so i just did a little simple little charm to add um to the front 
of the album. So there's that. And then, um, like I said, I cut each page um, to do the waterfall effect. And um, on the star portion, I did pop that up on foam. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I um, So I glued foam to that and then I glued the um, glitter paper. And then, um, and then I just started, you know, decorating each piece. So there's the first layer, but doesn't this trim just look so, so sweet coming out of the bottom of the tree. And then I love like the little garland. And then I just added some little sequins. And then um, on the back side, I just covered it with pattern paper. And um, I actually used this, you know, kind of teal or aqua cardstock, but I just wanted the back to not be plain since I wasn't gonna put anything on the back. So I went ahead and layered it with just different pattern paper. And this is an embellishment book, so I didn't do an actual mini album. I did a little mini embellishment book. And um, there's some of those peppermints and I did attach those with um, removable glue dots. So the recipient can actually pull these off and use these um, embellishments in a project and then um, just kind of keep this little uh, mini album, you know, together and then they could add to it and, and gift it again if they wanted. I didn't, I did glue these on because I felt like that was kind of part of the flip, like the mini album, but these I wanted to, you know, the person to be able to remove. Um, but yeah, aren't those like so cute? Um, so, so fun. And then there are some of the poinsettias from, um, oh, those are from... Hold on, those are from this set as well. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, so this is the tiered tray Christmas add-on. And um, so if you're familiar and you've been watching my videos, there's been a tiered tray that has been, that Hannah um, and Chaos Craft have been releasing for each season. So the tray came in, I think the Easter set, and then um, there's like a spring and um, a summer, a uh, Halloween and a Christmas uh, like add-on set. So, um, but I want to, I, I like to show you guys, if you don't want to do the tiered tray that, you know, you can just make these like fun little embellishments. So that's what I did here. I made some little flower embellishments. And again, those come off. Those are um, just attached with some um, removable glue dots. So there's those. And I just think this is so beautiful. And then here, this one here, um, you know, the, these, I again, I did glue these down, but uh, this is removable, so that is a, a little mini embellishment. And this one is so stinking cute. This is called the Cute Scooter, um, and I'll show you that one. This one um, is the only, like, non-Christmas one that came out in August for Chaos Craft, um, but I decided to make mine Christmas. So it's really simple to put together. You have your base piece, uh, which I actually cut this out in black for my tires. So I cut that out in black, then I cut um, the body of the scooter out in the pink, and then these are like the little, um, kind of these little hubcaps. And I did pop up the body on foam. I popped those up on foam. And then these little pieces here are these little um, pieces of the hubcaps, and I pop those up on foam. And you also have tire pieces. I just didn't use them because I had cut my base out of the black. Um, and then you have your seat, which is this piece. This is your um, your little like headlight, those two pieces, and then that piece right there is like for your handlebar. So really, really cute set. Um, I love this so much. And I knew right when I saw it that I was going to do like a little, um, you know, Christmas version. And I just used um, several of the pieces from that set I just showed you. Oh, this is actually from the Garland set. And, um, oh, you know what? This is, yeah, this is from the Garland set. That's from the Garland set. These right here, the present and um, that candy cane are from, and I plan on making more things, but just, um, it's from the Christmas train bundle. So I can't wait to make this one, but you get a, um, present with uh, two pieces so you can layer that. And then the, um, candy cane, which you can layer. And then also the little gingerbread man. So I use those from this set. 
And I love that how versatile those sets are. So you can make a train, but you can also make like all these little fun embellishments. Um, then I did add two of the little um, candies, the peppermints, and another one of those little uh, stocking with the flower clusters for that. And then um, the next page is this beauty. Isn't that just so cute, you guys? Oh my gosh, so cute. So there's that garland again that I, oops, that I showed you. And then there is like a sweet, sweet little cookie sheet. I cut this out of like a holographic um, kind of mirror, not holographic, but like mirror paper and silver. And then um, did some of those little gingerbread men and um, some little like, you know, peppermint cookies. And um, I'll show you that real quick. So that set is, okay, here we go. It's kind of all jumbled, but this is the Gingerbread Man mini album. So I can't wait to put this one together, but I used the, um, that's for the cookie sheet. And then there was um, these little guys right here. And that's what I cut um, to make those little cookies. And I'm kind of pretty sure that you can use those to do like, kind of like the buttons on your gingerbread man um, mini album. So um, I'll be making a project with this shortly to show you guys that one in more detail. But um, but yeah, I just love how that turned out. And I did on the star for each um, page pop each one up on foam. And I feel like it just kind of um, laid better. Like this part laid a little bit better once I um, did that. So, um, yeah, you guys, this is so stinking cute. So I hope that you, um, those of you that, you know, want to purchase this, I hope that you give it a try. I would love to see, um, you know, what everybody, you know, how they will use this. Um, I do plan on doing another one where it's just all the full size Christmas tree, but, um, I definitely had to give, you know, Hannah's, um, idea a try. I just thought it was very, very original and um yeah just so so excited about it okay and then I wanted to show you these little guys close up oh is it not it's not focusing well but isn't aren't these just so cute you guys so you got like multiple little sizes I love like these trees there's like another little tree um, but yeah I hope you guys give this a try I don't know if anyone else does this but um, yeah, when you have these little tiny dies, if you just back those on foam, they have so much dimension. And I just think that they just make the really, the cutest little, um, you know, embellishments to add to different projects and stuff. So, all right, guys, that's it. Um, definitely check this out on Chaos Craft, um, uh, at the Chaos Craft store and on Amazon and on AliExpress. Oh, and also Hannah has a great video um, going through the August release and she makes um, a project with each thing in the release, each die set. So that's a good place to go um, prior to ordering just because, you know, it takes me a little bit longer to get all my stuff out and their individual videos. But she has one video that goes through everything and I think that's such a great way to see what the dies look like cut out. Um, but anyway, yeah, so check it out. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave those below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.